again, friends, colleagues, and new faces. Welcome to World CRISPR Day. My name is Kevin Holden, and I'm head of science here at Symbio. Over the past three years, we've brought together a diverse cast of genome engineering scientists, clinicians, and thought leaders from around the world to help educate the scientific community and the public about the revolutionary potential of the now 10-year-old CRISPR technology. This year, we're focusing solely on the next era of CRISPR and its entrance into the clinic as a next generation cell and gene therapy. It's already making an incredibly positive impact on patients' lives. And we're on the verge of FDA approval of the first CRISPR genomic medicine. We predict that the safety and success of the first clinical trials will usher in a rapid expansion of these medicines. So how will the manufacturers of the critical reagents needed for CRISPR clinical trials meet this demand? And how will all of the new genomic medicine developers navigate the complex and evolving regulatory landscape? Today, a few of my colleagues here at Syndigo are going to show you how we're ready and able to meet those challenges and support scientists and clinicians on their discovery to clinic journey. I'm Lena Hamis, and I'm the Associate Director of Regulatory Affairs at Syndigo. With CRISPR, researchers can design and optimize therapeutic gene editing strategies more efficiently than before. The most enticing part of CRISPR is the opportunity to develop a smoke therapeutics, turning traditional drug development and regulatory frameworks on their head and offering solutions for areas of unmet medical need. CRISPR's use in genomic medicine is very basic. That said, we've never been closer to an actualized, marketable CRISPR-based cell and gene therapy than we are now with regulatory decision expected as soon as early 2024. The first CRISPR approval will undoubtedly set a regulatory precedent for how CRISPR therapeutics are reviewed and regulated in the future. Despite broad industry challenges, we form close relationships with our clients here at Zimbago, and we use regulatory intelligence to stay lockstep with the evolving landscape for selling gene therapeutics. Next, my colleague Dana will share how we are scaling the production of CRISPR reagents in a controlled GMP environment to meet the growing clinical needs of therapeutic developers and ultimately bring cures to patients. Hi, my name is Dana Saylor and I'm a Senior Manager of Programs at Zipido. Our goal is to provide access to the ever-evolving spectrum of CRISPR reagents needed by researchers and clinicians to enable their work from early research to preclinical safety and toxicology studies and eventually to clinical trial applications. As the understanding, quality, and demand for CRISPR reagents has increased from year to year, we have been focused on continuing our, our development at Cynthia to ensure we remain a leading provider of the highest quality material. Taking all of our learnings and data into consideration, we have built this state-of-the-art GMP factory we are walking through today to provide clinical-grade reagents to sponsors of genomic medicines. This facility is specifically designed to follow CGMP requirements for quality. The facility is engineered to ensure efficient and seamless manufacturing with capacity for scale-up. This functionality allows for our own continued development so we can provide clients with clinical grade ranges. The future of medicine is being revolutionized by CRISPR. It possesses an immense potential to cure devastating diseases. At Synthigo, we are evolving and ready to catalyze that potential. We are committed to helping researchers cure diseases, whether they are in early stage development or ready for clinical applications. We are committed to enabling the future of CRISPR.